Hi everyone, it's April Travis, and today I'm going to answer a very basic question for you. What is an essential oil? Now I've been using essential oils for many years because I just love the way they help me keep my family healthy naturally. In this video, you'll learn the basics of essential oils and their usage, and will help you understand why Young Living Essential Oils stand out from all the rest. So what is an essential oil? Well, they're volatile liquids and natural compounds found in shrubs, flowers, trees, bushes, etc. They're volatile, which means they evaporate quickly into the air. They're typically extracted through distillation or cold pressing. Each essential oil contains 200 to 500 constituents, which makes them very diverse in their effects. No two oils are alike. They're fat soluble, which allows them to penetrate into blood and tissues. And they're highly concentrated. In fact, 100 to 10,000 times more concentrated than the dried herb. Lavender is a good example to show the, how highly concentrated essential oils are. Uh, Young Living uses an average of 27 square feet of lavender plants to make just one 15 milliliter bottle of lavender oil. 75 lemons are used for one 15 mil bottle of lemon essential oil. And one pound of raw peppermint is used for just one 15 mil bottle of peppermint oil. What about the historical uses? Essential oils are nothing new. They've been used throughout history in many cultures for their health supporting benefits. The Egyptians, Greeks, Romans, Europeans, and Chinese have used them for centuries for health, beauty, fragrance, and spiritual practices. There are also many references to essential oils in historical texts, which signifies their importance in history. How are essential oils extracted? There's four ways to extract our essential oils from the plant. Cold pressing, which is used to extract fatty oils and citrus oils. Resin tapping, pulling essential oil containing a resin directly from the tree. Absolute oils. When oils are in a very delicate media, solvents must be used to extract the essential oil. And finally, steam distilling. Used to extract delicate materials in a heat and pressure controlled environment. So what is cold pressing? The product is pressed to extract the oil. Like pressing an olive, this is, the process is as it sounds. Cold refers to the olives being kept no higher than 81.9 degrees, and pressed refers to the method of extraction. This method indicates that no heat or chemical additives were used to extract the oil from the olives, which can alter and destroy the flavors and the aromas of the olive oil. Cold pressing is how we extract our citrus essential oils. The rind of the fruit is pressed and the essential oil is separated from the fruit. We use this process for our citrus oils because using other methods can break down the delicate citrol molecules and cause the oil to become bitter. Let's look at resin tapping. This is used to extract oils such as frankincense, myrrh, and copaiba. This is accomplished by scraping the external plant source, causing distress to, to the tree, and over time the tree produces a sap-like substance called a resin, which is collected and taken to be steam distilled. If you've tried the sleek gum, it has frankincense resin in it, which is great for the teeth, by the way. <clears throat> then we have absolute oil extraction. Simply put, it's adding a solvent to extract the oil. Now in Young Living's case, the only essential oil that we extract this way is jasmine. And the only additive we use is water. Steam distilling. This process involves using heat to water to create a steam, which then extracts the essential oil. It's fascinating to see when you visit the farms. The most common essential oil extraction method is the distillation method. 
It's critical now to control the temperature and pressure. Uh, must be Young Living only uses low temperature and low pressure. Very important. Avoid burning the oils and maximizes yield. Young Living also has fully automated steam distillers. The residual plant material is composed is composted to generate a fertilizer. These charts are a great way to look at the steam distillation process. Water is heated, creating the steam. The steam passes through the plant uh, material, pulling out the oil. The oil rises with the steam. The condenser cooks the steam, or it cools the steam. In the separator, the oil rises to the top of the water and is extracted. The leftover floral water can also be used in beauty and home products. Look at how many different parts of the plants are used to steam distill. Well, how can I use essential oils, you say? There are a number of ways you can use them. You're probably familiar with them already. Aromatic, topical, and dietary. Essential oils are a wonderful way to support all areas of your lifestyle. Use aromatic oils as odor eliminators and to create scented environments. I love to diffuse purification in my house for that, for that very thing when we're cooking fish or even in the closet when we have stinky gym socks. Oils can be applied topically to the skin. Now remember to be cautious and avoid sensitive areas. Young Living Vitality oils can be used to flavor food and beverages, as well as taken internally to support many of your body's systems. All right, let's look at aromatically. Aromatically usually means either diffusion or inhalation. Is there an essential oil that when you smell it brings fond memories or creates a specific atmosphere? I know when I smell tangerine, I feel very relaxed and uplifted. You can put the oils in your palms and breathe deep, cup them around your nose, or diffusion is another great way to use essential oils aromatically. By creating a fine aromatic mist, diffusers allow you to create a spa-like atmosphere right in your home so you can enjoy the benefits of the oils in any environment. Young Living offers a wide variety of diffusers, by the way, and when you enroll as a new member, you will receive a diffuser in your premium starter kit. There are two ways we detect odors. In the air we breathe through the front of the nose, through the back of our nose from our mouth when chewing food. When sniffing a flower, odor molecules from it are drawn to the top of the nose as we breathe in. The part of the nose called the olfactory bulb is responsible for processing the signals it receives and passing this information on to the other parts of the brain. Smell and psychology. The olfactory bulb processes the signals and then passes information to the limbic system, which plays a major role in controlling mood, memory, behavior, and emotion. Smell and memory. The sense of smell is closely linked with memory, probably more so than any of our other senses. This can often, often happen spontaneously, with a smell acting as a trigger in recalling a long forgotten event or experience. A scent can evoke an emotion even before we're consciously aware of it. Let's look at the vitality line. Young Living's line of vitality oils are specifically labeled for internal use. This way we can take advantage of the highly concentrated oils to flavor foods and beverages, as well as receive the benefits of the oils to support different body systems. Check out the Young Living blog for endless recipes that incorporate the oils. There's just a few of the many ways you can uh, utilize the Vitality line to support your body. We love the Thieves Vitality. It's an excellent way to support your immune system. It includes lemon, cinnamon, rosemary, clove, and eucalyptus radiata. 
it's an incredible combination. And Young Living actually has a whole line of these Thieves products because people love that line so much. Then there's Digize Vitality. That was specifically formulated to support our, our digestive system. Try putting a few drops in a glass of water and drinking before large meals. Incorporate grapefruit vitality in your weight management routine. Just put a few drops in a veggie capsule and ingest daily. Remember to follow the label instructions. Topically, essential oils can also be applied to the skin. This is known as topical application. It's a great way to support healthy looking skin because essential oils are easy to use and provide quick benefits. If you've never used essential oils, one great area of the body to apply, apply them topically is to the feet, shoulders, or the neck. Here are some other ways you can use essential oils topically. Remember to incor incorporate carrier oils because they'll ensure that essential oils applied topically are comfortable to the skin. Dilution with a carrier oil doesn't dilute the effect of the essential oil. In fact, it prevents waste due to excessive application. Hot oils are oils that when applied to the skin can cause a hot or burning sensation. Young Living recommends using a patch test procedure prior to first use. Examples of hot oils include cinnamon, clove, lemongrass, peppermint, oregano, thyme, exodus II, and thieves. If you experience burning or redness, just apply a carrier oil like Young Living's V6 over the area. It'll slow the rate at which the oil goes into the body and provides instant relief. <clears throat> How often can essential oils be applied? How much do I use? Proper usage is indicated on each essential oil label. Follow the label instructions. Essential oils are very potent and powerful, so start low and go slow. That means if you're very sensitive, start by opening the bottle and hold it maybe at your abdomen level and just inhale the air and just go slow. You use a little bit and then work your way up. So in most cases, one to two drops are adequate and using more may actually waste the product. <clears throat> Excessive use of essential oils may increase the risk for adverse reactions. So always listen to your body. We are all different. How do I dilute essential oils? It's important to know that dilution recommendations can be found on the back of each essential oil bottle and should be followed, especially by those new to essential oils. Essential oils are soluble in lipids, that's fats, which is why carrier oils, the fatty oils, are needed to dilute as opposed to water. Some good carrier oils. A carrier, carrier oil is a fatty oil that gives added benefits to your skin, such as coconut oil, olive oil, or grapeseed oil that can be used to dilute the essential oils. Again, Young Living's V6 Vegetable Oil Complex is an excellent carrier oil for all applications. They call it V6 because it has six different vegetable oils in it. Carrier oils ensure that essential oils applied topically are comfortable to the skin. Look for dilution ratios on Young Living Essential Oil bottles. Now, plant-based butters are also a great option to use when wanting to dilute your essential oils. They have many additional benefits for your skin. Now, these are some of the differences between essential oils and fatty oils. Some of them are, look at the essential oils. They're aromatic and volatile. Fatty oils are non-aromatic and non-volatile. Essential oils are not greasy. Fatty oils are. Essential oils don't spoil or turn rancid. Fatty oils do turn rancid. I'd like to touch on a few other points that are often asked. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask. 
We recommend that you avoid sensitive areas when using essential oils. These areas include eyes, ears, and the mucous membranes. Sensitive skin may be more prone to reactions, and sensitive areas may be more sensitive to the normal reaction. Pregnancy and nursing. We can point you to some great resource materials on pregnancy, but here's the general rule. Always consult with your healthcare professional, listen to your body, and use common sense. Children, essential oils for your family. Use gentle oils to start with on your children, like lemon, frankincense, tea tree, and lavender. Dilute with carrier oils until you know how your child reacts. Always follow the label instructions. Essential oils around the home. Aromatically, essential oils can be diffused to improve the air quality. Natural room deodorizer. In the laundry or replace your harsh chemical laden dryer sheets. Clean wood floors or degrease surfaces. Lemon is fantastic for that. Add to the sink when washing dishes. The ways to use essential oils around the home are practically limitless. So why should we choose Young Living? How important is quality with essential oils? In a word, very important. One of the factors that determines the purity of an oil is its constituents. Now these constituents can be affected by a vast number of variables, including the part of the plant from which the oil was produced, the soil condition, the fertilizer, is it organic or chemical, the geographical region, the climate, the altitude, harvesting methods, and distillation processes. Let's look at the different grades of essential oils in the essential oil industry. They're synthetic, created in a laboratory to mimic natural essential oils. Synthetic fragrance oils are primarily made from petrochemicals and are an attempt to duplicate the smell of a specific plant. A 1986 report by the National Academy of Sciences reported that 95% of the chemicals used in synthetic fragrances are derived from petroleum and include benzene derivatives, aldehydes, and many other known toxins and synthesizers. Extended or altered, that's fragrance grade, also known as fragrance oils. Many fragrance oils contain dilutants, which are cutting agents that ultimately reduce the strength of a fragrance oil. A common dilutant is DPG, that's dipropylene glycol. Google it, you won't like what you see. 98% of essential oil volume produced is used in the perfume and cosmetic industry. It does not contain the beneficial qualities and is only used for fragrance. Then we have natural and certified. These pass the oil standard test, but may not contain any or just a few beneficial compounds. Let's note that there are no real parameters when it comes to the use of the word natural. And finally, we have therapeutic grade. Pure steam distilled essential oils containing all the desired beneficial compounds. The key to producing therapeutic grade essential oils is to preserve as many of the delicate aromatic compounds within the essential oil as possible. Fragile aromatic compounds are easily destroyed by high temperature and pressure. Young Living uses low temperature and pressure. Let's look at the vast difference in essential oil ingredients through the example of lavender. There are 39 known species of lavandula, lavender. A lot of the lavender sold today is actually lavandin, a hybrid. It's a hybrid form of lavender developed by crossing a true lavender with spike lavender. As lavender oil is created from the flowers, you can see from the pictures that lavandin is a more efficient plant with more flowers and produces about 50% more oil per plant. Lavendin contains much higher concentrations of camphor, 7 to 18 percent, a terpene that invalidates its, its use to soothe skin irritations. Young Living is very particular about the quality of the plants that are used for the essential oil production. Even a true lavender grown under certain conditions 
may have camphor levels that are too high and will not be suitable. All Young Living products meet the highest standard of quality of raw materials. Additionally, the distillation process will impact the quality of the essential oil. Young Living distills its lavender for one hour and 15 minutes at zero pounds of pressure, whereas cheaper commercial lavender <clears throat> is distilled for 15 to 20 minutes at 155 pounds of pressure, removing most of the beneficial qualities. Young Living's processes ensure that the essential oils we create include all of the beneficial qualities. Of all the essential oil companies out there, why would you choose Young Living above the others? What makes Young Living stand out? Well, Young Living is the world leader in essential oils. We believe that your family deserves to harvest the benefits of nature's solutions every day without compromise. Our commitment to purity and stewardship is embodied in a unique proprietary process we call Seed to Seal. No other company can match what Young Living does to ensure the purity and potency of the highest quality essential oils on the market. Young Living's commitment to quality starts with seeds. The seeds we use are selected for their ability to become botanicals with high levels of bioactive compounds. We then grow the seeds using cultivation practices that are dedicated to responsible and sustainable growing and harvesting methods. Next, we distill using a gentle proprietary technique for steam extracting essential oils and preserving their precious constituents. To guarantee co consistent, verifiable quality, our oils are tested in Young Living's own internal labs as well as in third-party facilities. Finally, each essential oil is carefully bottled and labeled using state-of-the-art equipment. Seed to seal. It's not a slogan, it's our calling. To ensure that Young Living is able to control every step of the seed to seal process, we own a number of farms and partner or co-op with many others around the world. Gary Young personally travels the globe to scout farms that offer ideal conditions for growing premium botanicals. This personal direct involvement in the growing process is what allows us to ensure that each product is delivered, is of the highest quality, and what our members around the world have come to expect. From acres of sweet lavender in Utah to rows of fragrant eucalyptus trees in Ecuador, our global farms are emblematic of the purity and quality of everything we do. We're excited to announce that Young Living has received the highest possible rating from the Better Business Bureau. To be accredited with an A-plus rating, a business must go through a stringent screening process and prove that they meet the, stand the standards set by the BBB. A main distinction for BBB ac accreditation comes from a business's ability to build trust advertise honestly, be transparent, and honor promises. These are standards that are part of the Young Living tradition of providing superior products and customer service to the world. And it's a great honor to receive this prestigious recognition that validates our uncompromising commitment to quality. Seed to Seal is not only our process of operations, but it's also our promise to your family. Young Living believes that you and your family deserve products that are genuine, free of synthetic chemicals, and of unmatched purity. Seed to Seal is both a promise to you and a reflection of our sense of global stewardship. Through each step of our production process on both our own and our partner farms, we use the most exacting standards possible to make our products, your life, and the earth better. Only one company can make the seed to seal promise. Only Young Living. Thanks for watching and feel free to share with a friend.